Hi, my loves. I'm so glad that you could be here with me today. So we have been seeing Bottega everywhere. The shoes, the bags, the fashion, but especially the cassette bag. Now I have had mine for a couple of months and I want to let you know, is it worth it or is it not? Dun, dun, dun. This is the beautiful Bottega Veneta bag in the porridge color. Now, even though we're seeing Bottega everywhere these days, especially on social media, it actually has history of over 50 years. Now, this beautiful weaving pattern was actually made because of an accident. At the time, the sewing machines that were, they were using in that area had these really long needles that were unable to get into this really thick leather. Instead of them outsourcing it to other sewing machines, they decided that they would only use the thinnest and the most delicate leather and they would cut it into pieces and then weave it into this pattern that we love and that we know today. Okay, my loves, so the pros. I love the fact that this is a very minimalistic bag. I love that you can't tell what the brand is unless you know the brand. It's made from 100% lambskin, so it's high quality but low profile. And the touch is very finely crafted and it feels luxurious and rich. Another thing that I love is that because it's minimalist, you can get away with this gold chain. This is a statement piece. Unlike the padded cassette bag, which just has the regular strap, this one is luxe, it's extravagant, and it stands out. You could wear this with a dress, with jeans, shorts, and your hair pulled back, and this bag would be noticed a mile away. Another thing that I love is the colors. Now, when you go into the Bottega store, you are able to get several colors. It's not just white or black. The colors really are there to suit every single skin color. Now, I chose this porridge color because it goes perfectly with my olive skin and all of my clothing. It really complements your skin rather than take away. And I actually saw in the store a couple of different ladies who had very fair skin to very dark skin. And every time that they tried on different purses, I saw that each one really fit their skin color beautifully. So you have to go into the store, try on the colors and see what really best suits you. Lastly, what I really love about this bag is actually the inside. So you see it and you don't think that you really can do so many things inside, but I actually don't like to put a lot of stuff inside because I feel that then it looks very bulky and then it's very difficult for me to get things out. So I just keep the bare minimal. I have here my Chanel pouch. I have my keys, my cell phone. And then in the back pocket, I have my Chanel compact. I have my lipstick, lip gloss and lip liner. And see, you can put so many things secretive in here if you wanted to, plus in the front. And then you have the zipper compartment that you could stick some cards in if you wanted to. I just, I love the fact that you can fit so many things inside. Okay, my loves. So now for the cons. This bag is heavy. For all my ASMR people there, I know you're gonna enjoy this. Heavy. I could rein in a horse if I wanted to. So immediately, this isn't a bag that you can wear if you have back problems or side problems. Now, the other thing that I don't like is the clasp. Now, it would be so much easier if you could just put a little button and it would just button or it would clasp up. But because of the fact that it claps down, I'm always having problems having to clasp it. I always struggle with that. And then especially if you're someone who likes to put their whole life into this purse, you're really going to struggle with the clasp. And I've noticed because every time I'm trying to put that clasp on and I'm having difficulties with it, it has actually scratched. 
And if I'm paying an X amount of money for a purse, I really don't want to see the scratching. Now, the other thing that I don't like is that even though the inside is very functional, I really would like if they would have done the zipper right down the middle rather than here. It would have made it a little bit easier to put more things into one side into another side as well. I think that sometimes when they make these bags, they don't think about that. They think about just putting in a zipper and then you would just put cards in. But I'm someone who, when I'm on the go, I like to take things out, put things in, and that's it. Not to be struggling. So it would have been nicer if they would have put a zipper here right down the middle that we have a compartment right in the front and right in the back and that's it. Now, the other thing that I do not like is that because of the recent popularity, this bag really begs to differ. When I purchased it, I paid around four grand. And as of today, the bag is $5,000. That's $5,000, my loves. Which really, with all these dupes that we're seeing on the market, I don't know how many times I've seen dupes on Amazon, online, it really goes to show, is this really a trend or is it a timeless piece? Okay, my loves, so now that we learned the pros and cons, would I actually recommend this purse? And my answer is yes. I love the fact that she's minimalist. I love that she's luxe and yet she goes with everything. And I love that she's just a beautiful purse that is functional and that I can wear every day. Now, because the price does keep increasing, I would actually get it pre-loved and then I would either keep it or sell it depending on my lifestyle. Now, let me know your thoughts and your opinions. Do you own a Bottega bag? What are your favorite styles? And most importantly, do you believe that this style will stand the test of time? I love you guys so much for watching.